Hello, my name is Jeff Hyatt and I'm a lecturer at the University of Leeds. Today's question is, explain the reasons for the different methods used in extracting metals. Well, in the extraction of metals, as with any industrial process, there are a number of factors affecting the choice of method, including, of course, economic ones. It makes sense to use the cheapest method available. But the principal factors that have to be considered are the chemical ones. Most metals, apart from a few noble metals like gold or platinum, are found in ores, bound to either oxygen or sulphur in positive oxidation states generally between plus one and plus four. In order to liberate the metal, you have to carry out a chemical reaction to separate the metal from the oxide or sulphide, while at the same time reducing its oxidation state to zero to give it in its simple elemental form. So metal extraction reactions are also redox reactions, where we wish to reduce the metal, that is to donate electrons to it or lower its oxidation state. To do this, a reducing agent must be used, and the choice of reducing agent depends upon the stability of the ore. To illustrate this principle, we'll look at three examples. The extraction of iron, titanium and aluminium. These metals each have very different methods of extraction due to their different chemistries, and this is reflected in their cost. These, of course, vary with market forces, but the current values are about 30 pence for a kilogram of iron, £1.50 for aluminium, and £16 a kilo for titanium. This is a 50-fold difference between the, the cheapest and most expensive metal. By considering each of their extractions in detail, we'll be able to explain this difference and why the chemistry of the systems dictates the method used. Let's turn to my first example and the cheapest metal, iron. This is extracted from an oxide ore, iron 3 oxide, in which the iron is relatively weakly bound compared to our other examples. It can be reduced by carbon monoxide to metallic iron, you have carbon dioxide as the byproduct as seen in this equation. The extraction is carried out in a blast furnace, where the ore is combined with air and elemental carbon in the form of coal, coke or charcoal. The ore and carbon source are loaded into the top of the furnace, while the air is pumped or blasted, hence the name, into the bottom of the furnace. Inside the furnace, the carbon and oxygen combine an exothermic reaction, which provides the heat needed for the iron oxide reduction, which must be carried out at high temperatures. Under these conditions, the main product of the carbon and oxygen reaction is not carbon dioxide, but carbon monoxide. So this reaction provides not only the necessary heat, but also the reducing agent which reacts with the iron oxide ore. 